Hey, what's up guys? Walt Rivera here. We do this every single day. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Uh, today I'm going to show you the idea of what's the difference between a C9 chord and a C add 9 chord. And now, so don't be confused by by the C part. I mean, if you're, you know, have trouble with an F9 chord or an F add 9 chord or a D9 chord and a D add 9 chord, this is all the same. I'm just using C for the example. Okay, so here's my C chord. Okay. Now I'm going to make this a C9 chord. So the way that I do that from my video yesterday is I said you got to add the ninth, which is the same as the second note in in uh, in the scale. This is confusing. Refer to my previous video, and this will make sense. So now here's my C chord. Here's my C9 chord because I'm changing my C right here to a D. So I'm going from my C to my D. Okay, now if I wanted to make this a C, um, instead of a C add 9 chord, if I wanted to make that a C9 chord, here's my C9 chord. Now, what's the difference between a C add 9 chord and a C9? Well, a couple things that I wanted to explain first is that when it's the letter and the number and nothing in between, so if it's like if it says C9, F11, B flat 13, D7, if it's the letter and the number, that refers to that it's a dominant chord, which is the same as saying a seventh chord. Dominant and seventh chords are the same exact chord. Just two different names for the same thing. So now, since we understand that, um, the C9 chord is actually a dominant chord or a seventh chord with the ninth on top. Okay, let me explain it again. It's a seventh chord, so here's my C7. But I'm going to add the ninth on top. So here we have the D. So now we have this, which it still leads me to my F. Okay, so now we know what a C9 chord is. Uh, it's actually a dominant chord, a seventh chord, with the ninth on top, and a C add nine chord is, um, excuse me, your C chord with the ninth on top, no seventh, no seventh, hundred percent. There's there's no seventh in that. So. If it makes more sense, it's your C chord. Okay, let me show you. Ah, here we go. Here's your C chord. Here's your your, your ninth on top. And that's it. That, this is my C add nine. This is my C nine. And the only difference is this B flat right here. The B flat is the seventh note in the C major scale. And that's what makes a chord dominant. Okay, so uh, your major scale, your major chord in this case is C. Your, your three notes would be C E G. If you added your seventh on top, it's now C E G B flat, and that B flat is what makes it dominant or a seventh chord. So we would have this going to this F. And so the only difference, only difference from a C add 9 chord and a C9 chord is that the C9, where it's the letter and the number, there's no add or sus or anything in the middle of that, of the name of it. When it's the letter and the number, the C9 or the F11 or whatever it is, that's your dominant chord. It's the seventh chord with the added tension on top. That's, that, that's, the, um, that's the number. So like an F11 chord would be the root, the third, the fifth, the seventh, the ninth, and the eleventh within that chord. Okay, and if this is very confusing, and I, I understand this is a lot of information, a lot, I know, there all the information will be below in the video, and you can also check out my video that I did yesterday, and I'll try and do another video tomorrow, although tomorrow I'm going to start with my, uh, with my modes. Um, 
So let me just wrap up what I had said. I'll recap everything. And uh, if you get confused, watch it again. Watch my video from yesterday. Read the notes here. Maybe comment, ask questions. I guarantee you um, this video will help you if this was, you know, your ultimate question. Is that, let me explain, explain this again really quick. Here's your C major chord. Okay. C, E, G. C, E, G, C. Okay. Now, if I'm going to add my, my second note in my C major uh, scale, which is my D. Makes it a, a C add 9. Because here's my C. Right here. Here's my E. Here's my G, the open string. And then here's my D. Which makes my C major scale, my C major chord, C, E, G, and I'm adding the 9. It's a C add 9. Now, this is also the same notes are in this. C, here's my E, the open string, up top, okay, C, E, now, um, I'm not, well, here's my G here, okay, so here's C, E, G, I'm playing my B flat, there's my seventh, so root, third, five, seventh, and then here is my second. Oh, I'm sorry, here's my second, my D. So we have this. Oops, sorry. Okay. So, uh, you know, I'm actually not playing my E in that, but if I wanted to, I could even sound this. Let me try and see. Here we go. Uh, no, do this. Move it to the top. Okay. Okay, so now <coughs> what that is, is is it's my C7 chord with the ninth on top, so it's my C9, okay? Now, I'm going to explain tomorrow more about what 13ths are, but the notes in a C9 chord are C, E, G, B flat, D. The notes in a C add 9 chord are C, E, G, D. Notice how there's no B flat in the add nine chord because it's not dominant. It's not a seventh chord. You're simply playing the note. You're simply playing the major uh, chord, and you're adding whatever the tension is. So a C add eleven chord will be C E G, and then you add the the F on top because it's the eleventh of the note. Whereas C eleven would be a completely different um, thing. But this might have confused you. It might have helped you. Um, Hopefully, you know, it leads to a lot more questions, which is good. Questions means that you're growing as a musician. It means that you're interested. So, um, you know, any questions that you have, leave them below. And I hope you guys are well. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And don't forget to check out the information in the video description that I'm going to leave below. So, um, that's it. Maybe tomorrow I'll explain 11th chords before I explain the modes the, fo the following day, and I'll explain 13th chords too. So, all right guys, I hope you're well, and I hope that helped, and I hope you leave questions, and I hope that leaves you confused, because uh, you should be practicing things that you don't know, not things that you do know. Uh, all right, so we'll see you back here tomorrow. Peace.